Hey everybody, Lindsay Adler here, and today I'm going to show you how to create a sense of environment and create textured light on the background using the Westcott Optical Spot. I love to shoot in the studio. I shoot in the studio all the time. But if you're like me and you're used to shooting on plain solid backgrounds, sometimes you can start to feel a little bit sterile, especially if you've shot the same backgrounds over and over again. And so one of the ways that I use the Westcott Optical Spot is to give new life to my backgrounds, make them more interesting by casting textures or patterns of light on them. And so what I wanna show you today is a portrait that looks a little bit more environmental by casting textures of light. In fact, my idea for this shot is to make it look almost like, oh, like dappled light through leaves on trees, just a little bit of nuance. So I'm gonna make this really subtle. Now, sometimes in the studio, you want light with slices of light and drama that hits you over the head with it. But other times you want it to be pretty soft, pretty subtle, and just make your photo a little bit more interesting. And that's exactly what we're going to do. All right, so let's start with our main light. And in this shot, I'm only going to be using two strobes to illuminate my gorgeous subject. So the very first light I'm going to begin with is actually the light on my background. I'm taking the Westcott optical spot off to the side of the frame so that it kisses light across the back. And I've added the maple leaves gobo to the background. Fundamentally, what a gobo is, it's something that I can put into the optical spot and I can pick what the pattern or texture of light is. And so this, when sharp, looks like really defined outlines of maple leaves. But for me, that's probably a little bit distracting. So what I decided to do is defocus the lens, just soften it a little bit. So instead of being crisp outlines of leaves, it just like looks like kind of the suggestion or the texture of the leaves. Furthermore, so that the background doesn't become distracting, I'm going to be shooting at F4. So a little bit wider open on my lens so that my subject is sharp and then the background will go a little bit soft. So both my wider aperture and the defocus lens is going to make it just a little soft background texture. So my eye is really still going to go to my subject. So let me turn on that first strobe and we'll take a look at what we're working with. Okay, so sit up real straight for me and then three quarters this way and that's perfect and hold real still. All right, so you can see in this shot exactly what the optical spot is doing. It's giving me that texture to the background. But this shot is way more dramatic than I was going for. I don't want the shadows to be so dark. And of course, I still have to light my subject. Now, I know when I'm photographing darker skin tones, one of the ways that I can create beautiful, velvety, smooth highlights to the skin is by using a large, soft light source. In this case, I'm using a 53 inch white umbrella with diffusion, which fundamentally is like a big soft box, just a huge soft light source. And I placed it off to the right hand side of the frame and I can change the angle or the feather of light by tilting it. So I can decide how much light hits the background, how much light hits the subject so I can make it lighter or darker. So let's see with my umbrella placed off to the right hand side, what the shot's looking like. Okay, perfect, just like that. All right, her skin looks gorgeous. It is this beautiful, smooth highlight. And you'll notice that those shadows I thought were a little too dark in the background, well now they've been lifted and they've been lightened. And I'm shooting on a beige background because my concept was to go for everything in a cream tone, a beige tone, a warm brown tone, so it would have a very monochromatic or analogous color scheme all in that, that warm tone. That's what I'm going for. So I do like the shot as is. Like she looks beautiful, the background is interesting but I do think I'll add one more element to the shot. Now on the left-hand side of the frame, the shadows on that side of her face are a little bit dark because of course, you know, I have the light far off to the right-hand side and so it is going to be dark shadows. Maybe I want a little bit of detail or maybe I want like just a little bit of a beautiful highlight on her cheekbone. And so I don't need another light. I don't need anything complicated. What I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce a silver reflector. That silver reflector is going to take the light from the umbrella, it's going to bounce it, and it's going to fill in those shadows. So let me grab that reflector. All 
right, so can you see what that additional reflector did? There's a gorgeous highlight on her cheekbone. And by the way, this is the 30 inch illuminator reflector that Westcott makes. And then also it's a Westcott arm holding it in place, which is great if you don't have an assistant to hold your reflector. All right, so to put it all together, I added texture of light on the background using the Westcott optical spot. And then I have the maple leaf gobo in there. I defocused it to give a little bit of a softer look. Then I added the 53 inch umbrella to the right hand side with a diffuser so it's nice and soft. And then of course the reflector opposite so it could catch the light and give me a little bit more separation, a little bit of highlight to her cheekbone. So with that, of course, where the shot's really made now is in the expression, the pose, the connection with the camera. So let's get that shot. Okay, so can you sit up real, real tall, perfect? I'm gonna bring your chin to the left a little bit more and tilt the top of your head away. Great, and your eyes right there. Beautiful. And now look back at me, really strong eyes. Lower the shoulder a little bit, great. And I'm gonna just, pop this up just a little. Perfect, thank you. And this shoulder, bring it back. Yeah, lower it for me, perfect. Looking at these shots, you can see why I love the optical spot so much, because it has so much versatility. Sometimes in my work, I'll go for really hard slices of light across the face, but if I want something that looks more refined, subtle, and elegant, well, of course, you can take this approach. And by the way, when you purchase the optical spot, it includes a variety of different gobos, but there are also different expansion packs. So there are dozens of different patterns and textures that you can add to your background. Now, of course, I'm going to recommend that you pick up one of these optical spots. And when you do, be sure to tag me as well as Westcott in your photos because we'd love to see what you create. And if you like this video and you want to see more content like this, be sure to like and subscribe. See you next time.